Hello everyone and thanks for attending uh, our presentation. Today uh, I am presenting our work which entitled the impact of methanol diesel compounds on the performance of a four-stroke CI engine. I am Dr. Haider Laalwan, the chairman of the Department of Petrochemical Techniques at El Kut Technical Institute, Middle Technical University. As uh, you know, the fuel additives are attracted high attention due to their positive impact on the quality of the fuel. So methanol is considering a promising biofuel candidate due to its high oxygen content, low cost, and being non-suit, as well as its high octane rating and heats of evaporation. In addition, it has a lower tendency for knocking and its emission is lower than that of fossil fuels. Methanol has high oxygen content as well as high hydrocarbon and stoichiometric fuel to air ratios, which could be very helpful to improve diesel combustion properties and minimizing the soot formation. So in uh, the pre uh, previous uh, investigations, CNAC Cyan investigated the impact of blending methanol with volume ratios of 5 and 10 percent with uh, diesel. His results showed that emission of CO and uh, total hydrocarbon decreased with both fuel blends. Also, his results uh, shows that the mixing ratio of 10% of methanol was uh, better. Yusuf et al. Uh, investigated blending methanol with diesel in different ratios, 10, 20, and 30%, and tested the engine performance under different speeds between 1,000 to 2,000 rum per minute, and also their results indicate that the mixing ratio of 10% methanol is the best. So in this work, uh, the experiments were conducting using four types of uh, diesel fuel. Uh, one of them was pure diesel fuel, which will, we refer to as D, and the other are mixtures uh, of methanol and diesel. We labeled them as MD7, MD14, MD21, which uh, these numbers refer to the uh, methanol percentage. And to avoid the phase separation issue, 1% of one dodecanol was added into each blend. Uh, we uh, used three different loads, 2, 4, and 6, with sp uh, specific uh, speed, which is 2,000 on per minute. So the factors that we investigated were the brake specific fuel consumption, BSFC, engine uh, effective power, brake specific energy consumption, BSEC, brake power, brake thermal efficiency, noise intensity, and the exhaust temperature. So all the experiments were conducted uh, on an internal combustion diesel engine type TD212, which is a single cylinder, four stroke, uh, cooling with air. All the experiments uh, con uh, con uh, connected to a hydraulic dynamometer by a coupling in order to shed loads on the engine until the engine performance are recorded. So here are the uh, engine with the dynamometer, and these are the instrumentation units which used to analyze the responses of the uh, engine. So this is the schematic diagram of the experimental system. As you can see here, the fuel is uh, provided to the engine, and here we uh, analyze the exhaust temperature, and here we analyze the response of the engine. 
So let's move to the results and our uh, first uh, figure here uh, in the result section shows the impact of using the four fuel types on the brake specific fuel consumption BSFC. So uh, the three different uh, loads, two, four, and six, the data showed that the BSFC value of the uh, fuel type MD7 and MD14 are lower than that of diesel fuel, pure diesel fuel, while BSFC value of MD21 are higher. So this means that blending diesel with up to 14% of methanol would save around 40% of the uh, fuel used uh, in the engine. Uh, this at uh, load value number two, which labeled in the blue color. And increasing the load to six decreases the BSFC values of all fuel types. The reduction in BSFC values also uh, done at uh, load uh, six uh, with uh, around 37%. This reduction in the BSFC values is due to increase the blend fuel burning and evaporation rates comparing to pure fuel as a result of adding methanol, which has higher oxygen content. As can be seen in this figure, in all tested loads, the blend fuel with 14% of methanol provides the best value for the effective power. Figure, uh, this figure shows that increasing the blending ratio to 21% of methanol resulted in obvious decreasing in the engine efficiency. This decay in the engine performance can be attributed to the following reasons. First, methanol has a lower cetan number than diesel fuel, which resulted in lowering the blend cetan number and increasing the auto ignition temperature and vaporization heat with an increasing methanol percentage. Second, an increasing blending ratio resulted in lowering the heating value of the blends, which decreases the engine efficiency. In this figure, uh, it shows the change of brake specific energy consumption BSEC for the investigated uh, fuel types. This figure shows that increasing the load leads to a decrease in the BSEC value of MD7 and also MD14. And uh, increasing in the BSEC values of MD21. Uh, which is expected. However, at lower load to uh, N, uh, Newton meter, MD7 shows a high reduction in the BSEC value comparing with the pure diesel. Further increasing in the blending ratio to 14, increasing the reduction in the BSEC. On the other hand, increasing the methanol ratio to 21% increases the BSEC uh, value. Same trend can be observed in uh, these uh, figures for uh, higher uh, load. So in the next figure, we can see uh, the impact of the increasing uh, blending ratio on the brake thermal efficiency BTE of the engine. Uh, from this figure, it can be noticed that BTE value increases with increasing the load, the load value. On the other hand, increasing the blending ratio up to 14% of methanol 
lead to increase the BT value, but the further increasing of blending ratio to 21 decreases the value of BTE for all lots. So the increasing is due to increase the percentage of methanol, which has high oxygen content, low viscosity, and low specific heat. Thus, increasing methanol ratio up to 14% leads to a decrease in the lost heat above the engine cylinder, which in turn increases the combustion period and improve it. The next figure shows the impact of increasing the blending ratio on the noise intensity at different lots. As can be seen here, noise intensity increases with increasing the lot. On the other hand, increasing the blending ratio notably decreases or decreases the noise intensity. So this reduction is due to the blending of diesel fuel with methanol, which impacts the sound level in the injection pump and injector. Specifically, blending diesel with methanol drives to cooling impact on the cylinder charge due to methanol higher latent heat of vaporization, lower heating value, and higher stoichiometric fuel to air ratio than diesel fuel. This resulting in a decrease in the peak cylinder temperature and the engine knocking is minimized. The final figure in our result shows the impact of increasing blending ratio on the exhausted temperature at the three lots. The results show that increasing the blending ratio decreases the exhausted temperature. This is an important advantage for blending diesel with methanol because this decreasing in the exhausted temperature decreases the generation of nitrogen oxide. The reduction in the exhausted temperature resulted from increasing the blending ratio is due to the high oxygen content of methanol and lower heating value. The higher oxygen content resulted from increasing methanol ratio would lead to better combustion but with lower heating released from the combustion due to lower cetan number for methanol, which in turn reduced the exhausted temperature. So uh, from our result, uh, we can conclude that there is no significant difference in BSFC, BSEC, and BTE between the diesel, pure diesel, and MD7 fuels at low and medium loads. The uh, MD14 fuel type showed a decrease in BSFC, BSEC values, as well as the noise level at all loads compared to diesel fuel. MD14 fuel also showed a significant increase in NE and BTE values at all loads compared with uh, diesel fuel. So our results indicate that the uh, best uh, ratio for mixing methanol with diesel fuel is 14 percent here i want to thanks all of you for uh, listening to my presentation and i am so sorry that i can't uh, personally uh, answering uh, your question but my colleague uh, mr rassan shakr abdurrada will be here for answering your question thank you very much and have uh, a good day.